Hello everybody, welcome back to Hobby Fist Plays Past Part 2, or maybe I should say Hobby Fist Relives His Childhood in Past Part 2. Um, again, if you're wondering where Evo was, he never existed. He was a figment of my imagination. Um, again, drinking Magic Hat Circus Boy. It's, they call it the Hefeweizen. I call it... Not a fan? I don't know. There really isn't too much magic that I like. Single chair is good. And I said in the last one... What was it? Mother Lager? Fuck, I forget. Yeah, Mother Lager. That's pretty good, too. Uh, but enough garbage. Let's get back to the game. We uh, In the last episode, we went through probably... 4th grade, 5th grade me. At a certain point, I start forgetting what age is what. And it was basically all landscapes. I went five or six, as you can see here in the corner here, we've got the one little painting that apparently everyone just loves to come back and shit on. And then it, uh, the last painting we had was probably made more than all the other ones combined. So we're going to go into the next phase where I decided to uh, we'll do skip the, well actually what I'm going to do, I need to make this all black. I'm actually starting to do it a bit of interpretation in these ones now because this was all things done on journals composition notebooks back in the day and I don't have that that was a dumb thing to say I don't have uh, anything to color on the on the uh, composition notebook I just did pretty much all of these drawings with uh, good old mechanical pen uh, mechanical pencil I'm an idiot so so I'm just sitting here, clicking everywhere. You see my little guy spazzing out in the corner there. Um, I'm also doing this again right-handed because I didn't bother learning to use my mouse left-handed because I do, um, I'm gonna have to do something about this freaking pain to get rid of it or get rid of Maggie. Um, I'm left-handed and while I was forced to pretty much do everything right-handed, the one thing that they didn't bother trying to force out of me was uh, my left-handedness, thank God, because that's just a really arbitrary thing to be angry at somebody for, is the um, way they just naturally learned how to uh, write. So I guess, thanks, family? Because I've heard horror stories about um, people being forced by, I think it's mainly in Catholic schools, or at least in the 1950s, 1940s, that if they were left-handed, um, their, their nuns or the teachers would take, like, rulers to the back of their hand and force them to... Oh, I wait. Oh, that's right. I have a new thing. Spray paint. Ah, oh, it's all... I'm going to save that for later. I'm going to stick with the medium that I know and know well. This is taking way too long. I'm going to start hurrying up here. Um, so after I did my landscape stuff, what I started to do was I wanted to be in a band. So what I did was um, start putting album covers for the band that I made up in my head. And it's really hard to actually sit here and... Um, do this right-handed because, again, I'm a left-handed person. So I have to really sit here and think as I do this. For my band, which I came up with the time we were called. Um, I'm going to see if I can actually get this all in here. Green Spring. Yeah, because at the time, the two cool bands at the time were called Green Day and Offspring. So I thought, why not just take half of one and the other? And I thought Off Day was, while it did work, didn't speak to me like Green Spring did. And I would spend all the time just making album covers for an arbitrary band that never existed. So we're going to call this Time's a Wasting. I actually went an apostrophe this time. All right, so can I get can I get this painting? Yeah, let's click on this one. 
phase two. Goodbye, phase two. We tried. So I... Oh, oh, well, yeah. I was shoving Synth out of the way. That's right. She, apparently she doesn't like... Uh... Kid Punk, I guess you could call it. And all I basically did through this phase was doing... Ooh. 61 bucks, man. I did... Uh, I guess we'll do it. Fine. I got to start doing these a little bit faster because I guess it's all about... Um, quantity and not quality, I guess. Actually, we're going to use spray paint for this. Wow, that just... I don't... That, that takes too much work. Yeah, I'm not a fan. So yeah, it was a combination of just doing band stuff, which was what I'm doing right now. We're going to do... And you gotta have... different ways. Oh, man. I really wish I could do this left-handed and not screw up my fingers trying to um, write these things. And remember what one to click when I'm actually doing it because I'd be so used to trying to do this pointer finger on the wrong one and then I just sit here and forget and then I would just go and get really frustrated so now we're gonna go with the second one which was just a lot of geometric shapes on here but since again I can't hold shift I don't think and actually uh, that's funny since I actually can't can I hold shift and no nope, shift doesn't work at least, see, so that's one thing that MS Paint has over this, is that in MS Paint, I can hold shift down and do straight lines. Something to keep in mind, you developers of this game. You know, granted, artists don't have... Well, actually, they have rulers, so that doesn't make sense. Anyway, we're just going to do this one super quick. I have to come up with a title for this one but since writing that takes too long we're gonna do this over here and what did I call the next album I tried to be super witty as a little child and I wanted well we were whack actually that's even funnier my comeback album was gonna be our second one because every band always has their day like their big album and then they go away for a long time and then they're always just like Okay, Maggie, I don't want you guys. Do I have to just draw? I'm going to just actually take a moment here, and I want to see if doing this is going to make Maggie happy at all. Just because. Ugh. Fuck you, Maggie. Yeah, all the Maggies. Oh, that even reminds me. I'm going to do a tangent here. <laughs> the other symbol. <laughs> the other symbol. I'm sure you all know exactly what I'm about to draw here. This is how you know you were cool. Oh. Yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> You draw one of these in your Jenko jeans. I never even knew if this thing actually had a name. Everyone just always drew it. So, here we go. <laughs> so, we're just going to call this our uh, pre teen cool S Y M B I O L. Pre teen cool symbiology. It was always anarchy sign and whatever, whatever the next thing is. <laughs> oh, God. We're actually going to continue our... Uh... Oh, this is going to be really hard to draw. Actually, no, we'll trash this. Again, I wish this could be sideways. 
or landscape, whatever that's called. And we're gonna call this. You have to apologize, uh, forgive me this one time of wanting to. Man, I made a lot of money. And it wasn't an umlauts over this. <laughs> oh, Maggie, you're making me laugh because you just don't. Are those mittens? Why are you wearing mittens? And as a kid, I never understood how to actually say this. I always, always try to uh, pretend I was cool. It's like, no, I know what it means. And then they're like, we'll say it. It's like, no, you say it. You tell me if you know how it is. Gosh, it's so boring. Uh, I love the commentary that I'm making myself make you say. Uh, let's see if I can actually draw. Um, what was the other one? I don't know if this is actually how it was uh, written. Uh, and then what we're just going to do, because I want to see if I can game the system a bit, is uh, sit here and just add a bunch of color and see if that changes the... Uh, I guess algorithm. I'm gonna use cool, com like computer words that make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. All right, so we're done with this, and we're gonna write this: things my parents never bought me. Excuse me for all the burps. Parents would never really have anything cool. They wouldn't let me go to karate class. They wouldn't buy me. F <laughs> they wouldn't buy me any cool clothes. Mmm. Provoking and shopping. I think I found Maggie. Yeah, fuck off, Maggie. Not for that much. But I think we found your angle. Ah, oh, man. Not shoddy at all. Yeah, we'll do that synth. <laughs> Well, we know where her heart is. Things my never parents bought me about. Uh, now I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, my parents never let me do anything cool. And you gotta understand, cool where I was at the time was going to karate class, buying the cool stuff like Stussy's, Jenko's, um, what was the other things? Uh, whatever those heat sensitive clothes were, whenever you touched them, they would change color. Although, in retrospect, that probably wasn't always such a smart thing because I would sit there and uh, probably sweat through the pits. And then I'd be like, oh, look at him. His pits are all sweaty. He's changing color. And then I would be like, no, don't say that to me. And I'm going to do something. One last attempt to get the anarchists to enjoy it. I'm never getting rid of this painting because I just want you guys to lap, like, say shit to those things just to make myself feel better. Uh, we'll see if this actually works. You have to forgive me if I don't remember the actual position and lighting of these colors on said flag. But I'm just winging it. I think it goes like this. I guess where I live is just nothing but punks. And then we'll do... We'll do brown, I guess, in here. Uh, we're just doing real quick. Again, I do have plans for these. It's just I got real annoyed from those stupid punk people always giving me giving me flack, throwing shade, whatever the other kids say. All right, this is almost done. This will probably be the last one. I want to see how this one does for saving. Saving. Spence. How much this one goes for. Uh, we'll call this... Uh, I gotta think of... The antonyms. Solo... Jane? That's the closest I can get to Union Jack. <laughs> Alright, let's see how much this one goes for. This actually, man, these guys, ooh, all right, 
199 bucks. Not as much as that last one, but we're getting somewhere. Perfect. All right, you take that. Someone's taking notice of my act. Ooh. We'll figure out what that is next time. Again, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you like this, if you want to see more, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, as always, we'll see you next time. That was a really bad ending. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to find a cool catchphrase. Everyone has one of those, don't they? Could I say, ciao? I guess that works. Anyway, thanks again. Goodbye. Burst in.